Good morning YouTube. Today we're going to be working on the 125 gallon tank behind me here. Uh, the willow has just grown out of control. It's blocking all my flow, it's blocking all my light, so it's starting to get a little ratty down below. So we're just going to trim that up, do a water change, and see if we can just make it look a little better. So just to show you what I'm talking about here, you can look back here and just see there's just stems. Not a lot of leaves going on back there. And then when you look up top, it's just all bush. You can see there's absolutely no flow here. It doesn't help that the FX6, the pre-filter sponge on there, it pretty much sucked it all up into the tube. So that's not good. I'm going to have to get that out of there, clean that, and see about finding maybe a different way of doing it because that's obviously killing my water flow. All right, everyone ready to see how nasty these are going to be? Oh yeah, look at that. Doesn't that look good? Really caked on that one. Gonna take this phony thing out too. Holy cow. All right, so now that I got the cartridges out of the hang on back, I'm gonna grab the pre-filter for the FX6. And the way I clean these is I just go outside and hose them off. Mm. This is actually pretty clean. is actually really clean. I don't think I'm gonna worry about that one. All right, so I got this piece cleaned up. All I did was go and hose it down. I'm not really concerned about the little bit of beneficial bacteria that's on there. I got polyfill on the inserts to the hang on back filter. No, I do not buy replacement cartridges because that's a complete waste of money. You can go and get a whole thing of polyfill for like $5 at Walmart, so. Do yourself a favor, DIY this part. Just use polyfill. Unless you really feel you need like the 10 little pieces of carbon that's in the replacement cartridges, definitely do this. You're gonna save a ton of money. All right, so I'm gonna try to get this trimmed up now. I just use regular scissors. I don't really feel a need to waste a bunch of money on some $20 stainless professional aquascaping scissors. I'm really only concerned with the stuff that's kind of flowing over the top to the front. So I'm just gonna clear out kind of this front section here and see what I can make happen. Now I really wouldn't be surprised if I got bit right now because I've got both the Cryptoheris Myrne and the Honduran Red Points are spawning right now, guarding eggs. Alright, so filling it back up with water. I trimmed quite a bit. I'm curious to see what it's going to look like. I kind of left it bushy over here on purpose because I kind of want to get that sweeping over the top. And then left it really bushy right here in the middle. Pretty bare right here though. Where's that reflection coming from? Oh, the light. Durr. But I left it kind of bare here in the middle. Just going to have to give it a minute to fill up. See the female down here is guarding her eggs in there. The Honduran red points over here guarding their eggs. Let me show you exactly how much I removed. So I pretty much removed enough to plant this 40 gallon. This is the puffer tank. I'll probably let this float today and maybe that'll be tomorrow's project so I'll look forward to that. I'm sure that'll be a riveting video watching me poke stems in the substrate. 
All right, so filled back up with water. We got way more light. We got quite a bit more water flow. It's looking pretty ratty, but you know, give it a week or two, it'll all fill back in. But Dennis and Barb sure love it. They're schooling back and forth. All right, so it's the next morning. Had to take a break for the live stream. Had the big giveaway last night. Congrats to all the winners. It was a lot of fun. Hope you had a lot of fun too, even if you didn't win. Let's take a look and see if the tank is looking any better. Well, I definitely think it's looking better. Looks like I didn't upset the red points too much. They're still down there spawning. They're guarding their eggs. They've already spawned. Everything else is looking good. Dog's coming in to hang out. Rainbow fish are looking excellent. The rainbow shiners starting to color up but still honestly they probably have another year to go but yeah definitely happy with how much cleaner it is in here and how much more open and light there is I'm not too happy with the flow still so I'm gonna have to add probably a power head in here because right around here in the middle see I mean the leaves are barely moving at all that's one thing I'm kind of disappointed with in the FX6 here is the return is just not very much flow I thought it would be way more flow but I guess I could always put in a spray bar or something to help with that. Maybe down the road. I guess since we're actually in the fish room this early. We can talk about, I had a question of, get up, get up. I had a question about how I manage the power in here. And it's this, this pretty simple. There's, I mean, there's a little thought that went behind it, but not very much. So basically, it, it's in sections, four sections. Each wall is a section. So this light, or this wall comes on first, then these turn on, then these turn on, and then finally it's the last over here. And then, so it's these four tanks, and then the middle tanks turn on. And so when everything is turned on, the dehumidifier turns off. And everything is on timers, including the dehumidifier. So the reason I have to turn the dehumidifier off is because with all the lights on and the dehumidifier on and the half, or half a dozen or so heaters, if those all click on at the same time, the power shuts down. So I don't need the dehumidifier in the day because I keep the door open and it stays warm in here. So I just, I just keep that on a timer. It only comes on at night and a little bit in the morning. You can probably hear it running right now. So I got a super busy day ahead of me, so I might not get a video out tomorrow. So tomorrow's video of the day will probably just be my live stream, and I know that's cheating, but it's still a video and it'll still be out tomorrow, so it counts. So there. All right, so today's channel of the day is a Rainbow Fish channel, and it's Rainbow Runner Barricade, and I know some of you know about this channel because you turned me onto it. And this is a channel where he actually goes out and films Rainbow Fish and other types of fish out in the wild. He goes swimming with them, he films them, he also has videos of fishing, so if you're into fishing you might enjoy some of those videos. So head on over there, check it out, subscribe if you like it, subscribe to this channel if you like it, and I will see everyone tomorrow.